Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. Sorry the channel's had no content lately. There's just nothing really to make content on other than the typical arc boosted things. There is there is a new voting tab for what creatures get added to certain maps for the arc remake, which I think is weird. I think they should just put them all in there. If they're going to remake it, why not? Anyway, so in this video we're going to check out the extinction map on the Switch. I uh, already started it on accident off camera, so we missed the uh, opening cinematic. I'm not quite sure how to see it again without completely deleting the the save and starting over, which wouldn't you know it doesn't really matter because I haven't done much. All right, creative mode. I'm really curious how they got this to work on here. Let's check this out. Because this is, this is everybody says oh it's a small map. No, this map's pretty huge. Because it has a huge underground area. And it's got this dome thing for the snow area. Here's see how that works. See, it makes it look like you're still in the mountains. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this map. It's like we you're trying to combine too much stuff into one. Hey, cool. Is that one of those moon... Magagooksers things? Yeah, those things are cool. If I can make the game crash. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's, where, where's the map? I was gonna go back over here. There we go. I can see what the hell I'm doing. Why am I, like, all shiny? Got the cool bones. I forget where the... The King Titan is. He's up here somewhere. I'm not mistaken. It's been a long... That was like one of the first videos I made on the channel was uh, beating the Titan solo in single player. He, like, he destroyed me the first time and then the second time I had the mech and I barely beat him with the mech solo. I'm like, sweet! <laughs> Pretty happy. Alright. I think... Well, screw it. So, showing off the extinction map. There's lots of stuff to do. Ooh, here it is. This is a huge underground spot where the Grass Titan is at. And you can bring him all the way up here, but you have to walk him all the way up. And it takes a very long time. I, I spent like four hours, I think, and all, all at once over time. You know, I saved and then exited out because it's single player. But it took me about four hours to walk him from all the way down to the bottom all the way back up to my base because my base was up there. But yeah, this is a huge underground grass area. And you have to summon him just like you would, like, a, uh, one of the other things. I'm trying to find this stupid summoning portal thing. Like, there's big caves everywhere. Like, I probably spent a good 100 hours just exploring, and I still didn't find everything. be really cool I mean you can set up like teleport pads but it'd be cool if in the, when they remake it that it's just like a little cone you drop instead of this giant teleportation pad and it acts as quick travel we des you know, like desperately need to add quick travel to the tech tier stuff like sometimes you're making you know like you make a base and you're like oh crap I have to walk all the way back over there to get to it or fly back I mean you can turn on creative mode but if you're trying to play it somewhat legit. And that's another thing. I wonder if they're... Are they going to have admin commands? I know mm -hmm. they're going to have mods, but the, but are all the admin commands going to work again? Like, I'll probably remake every single admin command video in the new game, if, you know, if they work. So that's a plan for the channels, just remaking everything and getting back into ARC. It's kind of hard to get back into it when you know a much superior version is, so you know, allegedly coming out and they're going to abandon the old one. So yeah, yeah. This this area is pretty freaking huge. Like, very easy to get lost down here. But here's a look at the extinction map. It's it's. If you've never played Ark on any other platform, or if you love Ark and you just want it on the go, this is a great option for you. Very, very. 
surprised at how well it runs. And there's a path that goes all the way up. Like I said, if you want to get the the grass tighten up here. On the PlayStation version, I have the grass tighten all the way up in the, to, into that little city spot. Because what if you want to use them to fight against the King Titan, right? You want all three Titans to fight that Titan. And the Ice Titan's my favorite. That thing's awesome. It's huge. In fact, I wonder if I should try to... Like... Get the Titan here just to see how he runs on the big, you know, on the screen. I think I made a video on how to summon him in. Let's go check this out real quick. I'm surprised he's not, like, severely laggy. <laughs> okay, so there's that thing. Where's the stupid portal to face him. It's been so long since they played Extinction, I forgot how to do it. Should be a little pad here somewhere. Kind of like the, you know, the other ones where you summon them in to fight. Hmm. I'll have to mess around with it more and make another video because... I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> you know what's funny is I haven't played this game for like, I want to say like a year. I barely touched it. So, you know, the game's pretty much dead as far as wild card's concerned, so why would they keep it going? Alright. I think there's a desert part too. Let's, let's go check out the desert part and then we'll end the video. Yeah, here we go. There's a desert biome. Oh yeah, it's over there. So you kind of get like three mini biomes and then this big awesome city. I love this big city. I wish it wasn't so like destroyed. I kind of wish they actually took the time to make it look like a city. But I mean, there's lots of flat surfaces for bases. You, I was going to make my own city on mine and then it's got this cool thing here. And I love this part right here. I built a base over here like an entrance to a to like a expensive building or something this cool little water park water looking park with a waterfall nice little oasis be careful if you get a dinosaur down there they're very difficult to get out of there <laughs> just a heads up you have to build a ramp and everything yeah, I really like this spot. This is one of my favorite spots. You can come up here. I believe there's a spot to go up back here somewhere. You can always just fly up. Oh, there it is. It's right over here. It's way over here. You can climb all the way up. And then I built a base. Right above the waterfall stuff. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go look at this like we were gonna. Before I got sidetracked. And now there's a desert area. I'm glad it showed the dome part on the map because you're like, okay, which way do I go to get out of the stupid dome? There we go. Holy crap. The game's like chugging big time. There we go. All right. That's funny. When I played this on my PS4 Pro, the I had one of the ones with the like jet engine, and it's like whoosh, something is about to go into the outer space. So this is really cute, and it's got the cool uh, new creatures. I mean, I envy people who haven't played all this stuff yet, because there's, I mean, crap, dude, you you could play this for like four 4,000 hours and still not do everything. Cool. All right. Well, as always, thanks for watching. There's a quick little peek at the new maps that they've added. I believe I made a video on Ragnarok, so there's also that. Anyway, as always, like I said, thanks for watching, and stay frosty.